Alright, here we go. Backing them up, boss. That cool hand Luke. <laughs> Any of you people that remember cool hand Luke. <laughs> Backing them up here, boss. Backing them up. Or was it shaking the string? Yeah, something like that. Alright, let's go into forward. to starboard. Coming out of the marina. It's a nice safe spot, but it's a bitch to get in and out of. Doing my foot steering. Good luck, man. Good. Yeah! <laughs> Gonna tear him a new a hole. <laughs> there we go. Idle speed. Just idling out of the slip. We make his turn up here. We'll give it some go cheese. Goes to St. Augustine. Gonna be going under this bridge in about another mile or two. Gonna go up on the uh, left there. Always wonder if you can get under these bridges. Got the big tall mast there. But, you know, I've been under this one before. The sign there says uh, 45 feet, it's an additional 2 feet at the center. I think we're pushing 40 at any rate. So, you know, there's not much there, there's 4 or 5 feet of clearance. here into this next bay well, actually we're going to go by the first bay to the second bay and we're going to go up one of these cool creeks there and see what it's like see if we can see some alligators and some crocodiles some cool birds hopefully yeah hopefully we can catch some fish let's go all right looks like we're making about five miles an hour here. I got about half throttle on it. Seems that maximum speed was about seven and a half miles an hour there with my 9.9 .9 horsepower Yamaha. Okay, this is the bridge here. We're going all the way down here to uh, the bay and uh, Trout River and Six Mile Creek. We're going to try to get up in that river there a six mile creek see if we can get some catfish and see some sights so here we go what a beautiful day must be about 72 degrees it's overcast so the sun's not roasting me we're moving right along about five and a half miles an hour here. It's about half throttle. Even at full throttle, it'll only go about seven and a half miles an hour. So that's probably the whole speed. Probably won't go much faster than that. Yeah. 
nice and calm out, just flat, glassy water. And due east. Well, you think I'm lucky to live here on a boat. How about these people that get to live here on the water like that? They got a nice dock and boathouse. But I don't have a mortgage. They got the big mortgage, unless they're, you know, silver spoon in the mouth and they just inherited the, the crap. I can see the entrance to Six Mile Creek up ahead there. At least I hope that's where it is. We've never been there before. We're just kind of navigating here by the by the chart. I didn't poke in the GPS coordinates to it or anything. It's only seven or eight miles away. Looks like that guy's boat sank right there in his boathouse. I bet that happened during the hurricane. Maybe he didn't have any insurance on it. There's some rich places there. Look like they all got an indoor swimming pool. <laughs> Alright, almost to the mouth of the creek there. But like I said, I hope that's what it is. Well, some nice houses. Some little shacks, too. Bet they're still worth a, a million dollars uh, just because of the property. Alright, I made it to the mouth of the river. This is definitely it. Isn't that cool how the old cypress trees are everywhere and then they got the Spanish moss hanging off of them. I can see the lily pads starting to start along the edges of the bank. It tells me that we're on a river. The St. John's has got lily pads but they're not quite as prevalent as the ones here. I, I don't know why. I'm no expert on that but this is where we're going to see most of the wildlife is back up in the rivers here. Hopefully we'll see something like I did in the spring. There's lots of color for birds and alligators. and Maybe we'll see a bear or a panther. Who knows? A little sailboat kind of like mine. That's where I got mine on a little lift like that. Of course, the guy had a lot nicer place. This, this came off of a really nice place. This guy gave me a nice deal on it. Thank you, his name was John. We're scooting right along. Let's get up here in this river and see if we can see something, catch some fish. you can see this looks like fish in heaven here look at all the lily pads bass fishing like crazy trees hanging down in the water it's probably all from the hurricane too look at them all just laying over on their side grew there for hundreds of years and that hurricane came and flattened them Now we're getting into the river, starting to neck down here. Got nice lily pads on both sides there that could all hold alligators this time of year. I would think they'd all be up on the bank. The water's kind of chilly. I think it's about 60 degrees. This beautiful day, 70 degrees or 72 degrees. Like I said, it's, it's overcast and cloudy. Hasn't rained a drop yet. What a cool place. This place just says fish. 
fish me everywhere. I don't see much in the way of wildlife yet. I don't know if they all go further south in the winter. Still pretty nice here. trees are just flattened. I know the hurricane must have did that. They're all laying over like they got hit from the west. That's about where I got the most of it. Most of the wind was coming from the west. It's about two months ago. ski boat hearing lots of birds and wildlife but nothing around here yet saw some turtles <laughs> haven't seen any alligators I don't mean they're not out here though lots of alligators around here Supra. I don't know if you look sharp enough that you'll see alligators. They're hard to see sometimes. They could be up on the bank. They could be on those trees that are laying down in the water. And they could be under the water. Oh, there's some eagles. It's like they're playing tag. Huh. Eagles. Come this way, eagles. Yeah, yeah, come on, this way. They look like they're fighting. <laughs> Maybe they're mate mating. <laughs> Ooh, they like mating the air. Here they come. Now they're not eagles. They're some kind of weird looking birds. Well, that one's definitely a hawk chasing it. I think the one has a fish. Yeah, and that hawk is after that fish. He's give it up. That bird does not want to give up its fish. There they come again. I think that's an eagle behind it saying, give it up. Wonder if that eagle's going to get that fish. Got to see some cool wildlife. I guess they are two eagles or two hawks of some kind. That one's a lot bigger than the other one, though. Maybe the one's an eagle and the other one's just a hawk. The one up in front's definitely got a fish. That one behind it is just relentless. This is like a thousand foot dock up ahead here. It goes to 
some kind of bar restaurant. I think they have live music. They have a pretty cool uh, dock here that you can tie up to and come to their bar. Yeah, that's the dock. It goes to that bar. I think about a half mile long, almost a quarter mile. They must do pretty good business. Now let's turn around here. See if we can do a little fishing. Don't see any alligators today. Saw those a hawk trying to get a, a, a little or an eagle trying to get a hawk's food though. <laughs> Got that on video. We'll see how that shows up. They were kind of far away, but these GoPros they don't show anything up too close. The sailboat's been here so long they're they're on Google Earth. <laughs> if you look at the end of Six Mile Creek here. It's like he's got an engine kind of like ours on there, little Yamaha. Oh, cypress trees, they look so cool. Wonder if the guy lives aboard or he just keeps it there. Don't know. See if we can catch us some fish. Catching a little bit of rain here, so I put the old top down. Staying nice and dry. Cooling off a little bit though. I might have to get a jacket out. Thinking about dropping the anchor here and tossing out a line. See what we can catch. Got some cut bluegills and uh, garlic sauce see how they like those well look at those trees just laying there you can see the root system that they just got pulled over by the wind from the hurricane at least I think that's what happened to them I'm anchored up here I got two planers out the back here two planer bobbers with uh, fresh cut bluegill on there that's been Soaked in uh, garlic powder overnight, a little bit of river water in a baggie. Kept them in the refrigerator. I'm going to keep letting them out further and further with the tide here or the river current, whatever we got here. It's very light right now. I think it's about the height of uh, high tide. So we should start getting a little better current here shortly. All right, so all we got to do cross our fingers and uh, wait. Patience. Patience, grasshopper. Still a pretty nice day. Started to rain a little bit and I put the top down. It just flips up. It's pretty easy to put up and down. So we're going to drift them on back and uh, hope for the big, big catfish. They're in here, I'll tell you. And, and really nobody fishes for them. This place is like a catfish mecca. <laughs> They really like live shiners, but uh, unfortunately all I got is cut bluegill. I was getting them pretty good back at the dock with that. Let's see if we do any good here in the river. Patience. And that cleaner just took off. Just heard something splashing like crazy through the water with it. <clears throat> Yeah, he's still there. I got him, whatever it is. He's trying to get up there around the anchor line. Ugh. I have to go up front. Whoa. Maybe he just realized he's hooked, huh? Stay away from the anchor line. I see the planer. Whoa, he's diving. He's got a big fish here. 
Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah. Nice. Channel cat. What about 10, 12 pound. Let's take him to the back of the boat. See if we can get him out of the water. Alright. Come right out of the river. It's a six mile creek. Looked the catfishy to me on Google Earth and yeah, the proof's in the pudding. Alright, there he is. Got him on a super slow drift planer bobber. These things work great in river current or tidal current, whatever. There he is. He looks to be about 25 inches. He's really fat though. I'd say he's got a way. Anywhere from 8 to 12 pounds. Nice fish. Let's get him back in the water. Well, it's getting pretty close to dark here. We got at least an hour and a half run, so we're going to be racing the daylight there. Let's put her in gear. Here we go. We're still in the fishing hole there. And we might have been able to select a better one. I don't know. Got a nice fish though. And we had a nice trip. At least so far. <laughs> it's been uneventful. Let's see. Here we go. Give it some, some power. R R, As the tool guy says. Woohoo! Here we go, let's turn. We got a tiller steering. You have to push the tiller the opposite way that you want to go. See? I'm going to push it up to about three quarter throttle here. Try to get at least about uh, six miles an hour or better out of this booger. I got the GPS here. Let's see what we can do. This boat is the coolest boat in the world, I'll tell you what. For what I got into it, I couldn't have a better place to live on the planet. <laughs> or more fun too. Just go zoom, zoom, zoom. Let's see here, we're grabbing satellites. GPS. Alright, says here we're going 5.9 miles per hour. I'm going to up it a little bit. I want it over 6. There we go. 6.1, 6.2. I'm going to push it even just a, a wee tad higher. I hate to do that, but it's kind of a race against the sunset there. Well, we didn't see any alligators yet. <laughs> I guess there's always a chance, you know, that we could see some alligator. What's that? Oh, that's a big tree. This place looks like like Vietnam after the hurricane came through here look at the trees like like they were bombed see how they're all pointing the same direction they're all pointing to the east and the winds the, the worst of the winds came right out of the west I think of these trees have been standing there for hundreds of years and that hurricane pow We're going 6.4 miles an hour. There's somebody's dock that ended up here. Bet you the alligators like that. Crocodiles, alligator. Yeah, 
know. Let's see what, uh, how far we are from uh, Reynolds Yacht Basin. That's our place there. <laughs> Reynolds Yacht Basin, 5.26 miles. Okay, so we're going 6.4 miles an hour. Hopefully we can make it in about an hour. That's about all we got time-wise. We, we might have as much as an hour and 15 minutes before sundown, maybe less. Oh, what a nice day. <laughs> I saw an eagle fight. Caught a nice fish. Got to test out my motor there on a long run. By the time I get back, it uh, should be over, I don't know, 16 to 17 miles more, maybe 20. This is the mouth of Six Mile Creek. I wanted to drift those uh, lily pads over there. They're in such a nice straight line. There's just not much current today. No wind or anything. Beautiful, beautiful day though. And we got a fish. Hey, saw an eagle fight. The water just is glassy and smooth. Smooth. inside of that boat's kind of cluttered, isn't it? Right. Messy, messy. Hey, when you live alone, you can be messy, right? Well, if I was going out sailing, I would have stowed everything, so nothing would have fell. There's a bird, big heron. Yeah, you can see those anywhere. <laughs> See any alligator? All right, we got it's like about two or three miles to the bridge. It's about three miles. Let's look at that sky. The rays of sun coming down through it. It's like an old '70s poster, or maybe something religious like. Oh, it's nice out here, as nice as nice could be. Cruising along. 6.2, We're scooting. Wouldn't you like to have this view every day, every night? Nice. It's plain, simple, nice.
heading for the bridge. I can just barely see it. Still just flat, glassy smooth out here. Must not be hardly a stitch of wind. Not more than two, three miles an hour. Sailing off into the sunset. Or motoring in a sailboat, right? It's like something's on fire over there at the shipyard. Hope they didn't have another accident. Maybe those are just clouds. Nice, nice day. It's like we still got a mile or two to go to get to the bridge. <laughs> 